Hi trainers, today we're playing Gengar and we have a really strange team comp. We have four attackers. So four attackers on our team and the enemy team comp is actually an actual good combination of roles. So yeah, it's an actual team comp. Don't know why I said it in such a strange way. But we are playing Gengar Jungle and I want to like, you know, talk through about Gengar, showcase things about Gengar. Hopefully I do alright, you know, sometimes I do have my bad games. Like I hope this isn't one of them, but um, I do have my bad games sometimes, and yeah, no exceptions. I'm just like your 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 average Joe. <laughs> All right, so we just got to get to five. So Gengar is uh, our power spike. Well, to be fair, we have multiple power spikes, but we're gonna reach the first one with Shadow Ball, and uh, Cinderace is a okay. No, okay. Okay, just so many cute things. Cinderace is AFK, so maybe we can help this Pikachu a little bit. Oh, he, uh, I didn't even use Dream Meter on him and he went to sleep. <laughs> um, okay, well, it's all a car in a slow row. Oh, the push, ouch. Oh no, Pikachu, I don't know if I can save you. Oh, that's so sad. That must be a bit frustrating, especially because, like, um, Pikachu doesn't have a partner in its lane. Why would you like, maybe, maybe Cinderace is having internet issues, I'm not sure, since they just AFK'd like right off the bat. I don't think I can secure this. Oh no, he's, Slowbro's out, he's leaving. Um, let's see, let's just get some more farm. So, since we are apparently in a 4v5 situation, the best thing we can do here is to farm as much as we can and try to make up for our lost teammate. That does give us more farm, but it also gives enemy team more pressure. So they could also just take our farm, which is unfortunate. And I don't know if you, like, if anyone, they, they haven't actually talked about this, but Gengar, I'm pretty sure this is not do it before, but Gengar's lick has been changed a bit. And it now like stops the, uh, the CC of the, uh, the crowd control of the buffs, which I find really cool. Oh no, that Pikachu, I'm so sorry. That Pikachu's having such a rough time. I want to stay and help as much as I can, but like I think we'd be stalling for time too much. And because I am the jungler, it puts me in like a really rough spot, right? Like I have to look after this lane because we have an AFK. Oh yeah. I can't burst down Lucario. Not yet. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, Pikachu. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, to be fair, I don't think. I don't think 1v1ing a Lucario as Pikachu is the best idea. I might die. Um. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got it. I'm so surprised. I mean, like, it's not too bad, right? Right? I mean, I've won 4v5s before, but generally not most of the time. <laughs> I'm really late for Dread. I think I set up here too far, too long. But to be fair, we have like two enemies up on top. Um, I want to reach level 9 though, because I get my Unite move and I'm very close. Alright, so I have my Unite move. This Dreadnought fight should be okay. Uh, Charizard's Unite move is down, which is nice to know. And s wait, did Wigglytuff just unite? I don't, I don't know if you, Wigglytuff just united. Oh, there it, there's its unite, there's its unite. <laughs> oh no, not the heal! Wigglytuff is so tanky. Oh, there's three of them. There's three of them. All right. I wanted to set for Dread, but maybe we can take them all out here, and then we can just take Dread, right? Bursty burst. And Wigglytuff. Oh no. Wigglytuff sings is better. It's a, it's a, Wigglytuff sleep is better. It's a sleep diff. <laughs> is anyone gonna help me with Dread? Please? Sylveon? Could I please have a moment of your time? Maybe. To talk about um, our Lord and Savior Dreadnor. Oh my gosh, the burst is nuts. This is why I love Gengar. Like, Gengar's burst is like crazy. Like, Gengar can literally just like two shot like Greninja and Cinderace, which is nice. All right, let's just farm. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Cinderace is coming back. Um, they unfortunately took all of top. So, 
I'm just gonna farm. So I would like to just try and reset all my camps and stuff. Nice. Love to see it. The three attack is one speeds the comp is working. We're like, we got the same amount of goal zones. Unfortunately, um, one of our teammates do want to surrender, and I do understand why they want to surrender. Like, you know, a 4v5, some people will see it as like a waste of time. In my honest opinion, um, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. In my, uh, I feel like I'm in a bad position, but, okay, Lucario. All right, buddy. All right, you have chosen death. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I've also chosen death. Well, I was going to say, I feel like I'm in a really bad position because we are in a 4v5. So I probably should be playing it a bit smarter, to be honest. But I get a little bit carried away as Gengar sometimes because I know the potential of what Gengar can do. And that just like, it just makes me do things that I shouldn't do. But, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I understand that I think, I, I feel like it's the Pikachu that wants to surrender because Pikachu is, um, was 1v2ing at the top. And I know that's a very frustrating experience in itself, like you don't have your lane partner with you, so I, I do sympathize with that a lot. I hope that, um, oh my gosh, I missed, I missed. Alright. Oh, our goals are not taken. That's sad. That's okay. Um, so yeah, I do sympathize sympathize sympathize. I don't know the word anymore. Who cares? Who cares? English is too hard. Uh so I think Pikachu I well, I don't know if it's Pikachu, but I hope that doesn't like you know when a teammate like surrenders, it's like they pretty much give up, right? And I hope they don't give up. Oh I miss and it was standing still. Wait, I can use Dreadnought here. Yes! Did you see that? So what I did there was I uh, I put Dream Eater on Dreadnought. Um, and then I used that to get closer to Charizard. So that's like a little trick you can do with Gengar just by using things like that, even if you don't do the damage. But you have to be sure that you can take down the Charizard. So a lot of like newer players that I see who play Gengar, um, they tend to like Dream Eater and then Dream Eater right away. You don't want to do that. You want to maximize your damage output by using Shadow Balls, resetting the cooldown, um, using its boosted attacks. So I will. I have a guide for that already in the Hidden Mechanics guide, which I'll let, well, which I'll link down below. We're really struggling. Um, all right, all right. Let's see if we can like burst anyone. Oh no, so so bolted. Okay, we probably can get. Oh my gosh, it's the it's this it's the it's the tank tank div. Oh no, I missed. Where is everyone? Help me, friends. We're winning the fight, sort of. Oh my gosh, I'm t I've taken like th two unite moves. Oh my gosh, Pikachu! No, why is Pikachu down there? Greninja's here at least. I don't know if Greninja can steal it, but why is Pikachu down there? I don't know if that was the play, to be honest. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't agree with Pikachu's uh, decision there, but I don't blame Pikachu because it's really hard to communicate in this game. I wish we had better communication options, but uh, I do think Pikachu's Pikachu should have helped at Zapdos, especially because we are we are already down Cinderace. And because we are down Cinderace, it already puts us in like an immediate 4v5 situation. And with Pikachu going down there, it puts us into a um a three a three v five situation. And it was only me up there, unfortunately. Like I do think the team should be at Zapdos. But we have two goal zones. I'm gonna I hope they don't jump on me. We have two goal zones up. Um, oh no, Ninetales. Ninetales got 82 in because Greninja stopped defending. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh no. I think this could have possibly be won if we coordinated better. But it happens. You know, some games, 
Some games you win some, you lose some, and honestly, well, let's see how close the score is. Oh my gosh, it would have been like, it wasn't even that far off. Um, if, if Ninetales did not score that 81, um, it would have been like 500, for, like 100, dif 100 difference. So it wasn't like horribly far off. Um, oop, I didn't mean to, good job. The Cinderace, that Cinderace wasn't even here. You don't get a good job. You were idling in battle. Um, but yeah, so honestly, it wasn't that far off. Like everything wasn't super like, I think I played really well. I think I played the best I could in that situation. And, and you know, there wasn't really any team coordination, but considering we had like all four attackers, it just, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We move on to the next game. And yeah, so my top tips for today, do not AFK. <laughs> all right, that is all for today's video. Subscribe to the bell to be notified for more gameplays and such. Like the video if you found this entertaining or you want more Gengar gameplays. Thank you so much for watching trainers. Bye!